All right, hello everyone out there. This is Day Trader Rockstar for Friday, uh, February 22nd. Man, what a volatile day today. Uh, on Thursday, we started off. Looks like we're going to break through that 1369, uh, 1370 area. Ran right up against it. This is on the 15 minute chart, and we pulled right back off it. Pretty much a downtrend all day long. It was, uh, it was a sad, sad day here. Sad day in Brownsville. But anyway, definitely in a trading trading range here. As you can see, the, this lower support line really really makes a good um, area because you can see back here was acting as resistance. It kept on hitting it against. Finally broke through it. Now it acted as support. We hit it here. We hit it here. We hit it here. And we're just about hitting it here today. So we're going to watch this line tomorrow. It's very important. Probably if we get a breakdown through this, we're going to break out of this trading range and probably head back down towards around the 1320 area. So... Uh, with some good things we have in our favor here, if you look on the 15-minute chart, the statistics are in the kind of an oversold area here, which is good. Every time we get down to this level, you, you, we normally get a bounce, as you can see. Um, you get a bounce there, you get a bounce there, you get a bounce, you know. Every, usually when you get down here, you usually get a nice little bounce. So we'll watch for that tomorrow. I'm going to be trading a lot of the futures tomorrow, so watch out for that too. You can follow along trading the SPY, the SPY, the SPY, um, and, um, you know, unless you have a futures account, you can follow with the ES Mini Futures, the ES H8. Uh, this is looking at the daily chart. You couldn't have been, a, you know, we're right coming right against a, uh, as you can see, we're right, uh, right in this, right in this wedge triangle pattern right here. And you can say we hit both, li we hit both limits today. We hit the upper limit and the lower limit. So, I mean, this is just, you know, this is technical, people. This is, uh, tomorrow looks like either we're going to trade in this range or we're going to make a break one way or another. It seems like the, the week close today kind of set up for a drop tomorrow at the morning, so we'll watch that closely. Either way, we'll be on top of it. Uh, either way, uh, you just got to trade. I do believe this market's coming close to a, an area where we're going to get a nice bounce and a nice rally up. So, maybe this is going to be a... A fake drop and pop I don't think so I think we're probably gonna break through down here and get down to this 1320 area down here um, well we'll see we'll play it as we see it I want to go over some stocks today actually I want to start off there's not many calls I want to pick for tomorrow because tomorrow is gonna be a very volatile day and it's gonna be money I just want to say you got to have your powder dry uh, having your powder dry especially when you come into an apex or a point like this you want to be able to get right in the market when you start seeing some serious uh, momentum Here's another interesting thing on the three-minute chart. Actually, the five-minute chart too. Um, let me go because the five-minute chart's more, more. You see how this on the S&P here. You see how we're just hugging this every time we came up against the 20-period moving average, which is the black line we pulled off of it. You know, we kind of you know get a little above it, but basically we pull back off of it. If you even go back uh, for the prior days, um, you see when we're above it, we use it as support. And then we finally break through it, and we use it as resistance. And that's a very good, you know, an excellent trading uh, area to trade off of. So once we get above this 20-day moving average again, we want to see if it holds that support to confirm a rally. So we want to watch that also tomorrow. And that's another idea. It gives you a heads up which, which way this market wants to go. It's very choppy. At this level, it could get very, get very hairy. That's why it's important to have some cash available when the market does want to break out we're going to get a tremendous rally here so um, just what we're going to watch for that um let's see what some uh, some stocks i'm looking at i actually took a position in caterpillar today even though it didn't break my trigger uh, this is one for 10 for uh, the 10 for a um, thousand on a 10 for a thousand i have a break of uh 72 dollars and it kind of broke through that today and we pulled back off of that chart still looks really good here. I still just the tax is set up nicely. We're going to see how the market reacts tomorrow. I'm still kind of happy about this one. I just want to go over some of the uh, 10 for 1,000 watch lists. Remember, a lot of them haven't triggered. The ones that have triggered uh, have done good. The PCU has triggered, uh, I think that buy was 103. And uh, right here you can actually see because these were all actually the um, actually some of the uh, buy limits I, I sent out on the email here. Uh, by 103 we broke out of that 103 right here actually gapped up and man we ran all the way up to uh, 117 but again we gapped above that and I don't think any people not many people caught that trade because it was such a strong trade it really took off real fast 
DBE, another one on the 10 for a, a thousand watch list. Again, um, the buy trigger here was 36.70. Broke up above that. We got all the way up to uh, uh, 37.79 and then pulled back. So I'm going to watch this one closely. We're coming back into some uh, support area here. And uh, where did we get up to that? Where did we get the high of that was 37.79. We didn't really get up to $38, but that was my target. It was really close to it. Uh, but we did get that break out there, which was really good. Um, Shield never broke out yet. SHLD. SHL I still like this one a lot. SHL, SHLD. Um, Sears Holding. I like the pullback. like the oversold statistics here. I like the consolidation right in the 20-period moving average. Even though the market looks like it's going to pull back. Again, it's very important to hold off on a lot of these stocks until they break out of their moves. Uh, Garmin was one of them on the watch list and of course that one had a big pop on the daily chart chart um, what can you say you know it popped and it popped up on earnings it ran up ran all the way up to uh, seventy three dollars um, I had a target of sixty eight dollars on it but again this one kinda gapped up um, it was a hard one to catch and a very volatile one so I don't think anybody caught that I was in that one for earnings and stuff so I sold that pre-market for a nice gain but um, again, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, we still still set up for a lot of good triggers here. So looking for Caterpillar Shield, uh, Citigroup, Home Depot to trigger out, and uh, here's a one short I like VMware. And I'm actually going to start listing the uh, ten four thousand on the site here. I actually like VMware as a short here. Um, I'll go in more into that tomorrow. And again, just want everyone to get ready for uh, trading the futures tomorrow. Get, get get ready to make some serious cash. Here's a couple of new bullish ones I'm starting to like here. Nalco Holdings. It's a water company. I've traded this one in the past. I like the strength here. Holding up nice in this market. Starting to make a nice W pattern. Maybe we get a little pullback here. I'd love to get a little pullback to maybe the $20 level. And I'd look to take a uh, position in that one. NLC. I do like Broadcom. I, I um, covered this one the other day. Um, Conserve violin and watch the 20. I would watch 2020 for an entry here, but had a nice little pu push up today and then pulled back in the in the pullback. Watch this one. I think it's oversold. I think you you could get a good position on that one. And one of my favorite long term ones is Darling D A R. This one had a nice again nice move today and just considered you know I I think this one's just going to continue going up, continue going up. So just uh, watch it. I think that's good for to now to now tonight and now i think it's really good hope you could join me tomorrow on daytradingradio.com that's daytradingradio.com www.daytradingradio.com i'm the day trader rock star and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow any questions you could always email me i know there's a lot of listeners out there and i apologize that i don't get to all your questions during the day today i was kind of uh, real distracted with stuff but tomorrow i'll be back on point look for a great trading day tomorrow up or down markets doesn't matter Again, uh, patience is a key in this in this market right now. That's that's the true key. If you could just hang on there, let this market play, play uh, play its games, and then uh, once it's set up, and you're gonna br get a break either way. I tell you, once we get a break above this trend downward trend line, even if we get a break down and then a break back up, man, I tell you, you gotta have you gotta be ready to jump into this market. This market's getting close to making a big move. Um, so test is still coming down, kind of weak, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see a downward move tomorrow, and, a, and who knows what kind of news is going to come out, but overall uh, consensus is uh, we might see a continuation move down tomorrow, so just be on your toes for that, look for some good trading either way, and I'll, I'll see you in the morning, alright.